Hey, I'm Jordan Howardson with CCV Music and a worship pastor at Christ Church of the Valley in Phoenix, Arizona. The verse of the day today is Psalm 34, 8. It says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, the joys of those who take refuge in him. David, the writer of this psalm, is encouraging us that when things get tough and push comes to shove, taking refuge in the Lord is unmatched. The phrase take refuge requires action. And interestingly enough, the metaphor that David uses, taste, is also an action word. It's a choice. You don't taste something unless you choose to consume it. You don't take refuge in someone unless you choose to take refuge in them. No matter the circumstance, we have a choice of where we're going to take refuge, of what we're going to choose to consume and taste. Our circumstances have a way of dictating our appetite. But even if my ability to sense God is hindered, I can take refuge in who he is because I have tasted and seen his goodness before. It's almost as if sometimes our taste and our vision to see the goodness of God needs a jump start and remembrance is the jumper cables. So how has God proven himself good in your life? Let's remind ourselves of the good things that God has done in our lives. A song that our church sings is called Good Things. And I want to pray that chorus over you right now. God, you are the song I sing. You are the air that I breathe. I know that all good things come from you. So open my eyes to see your mercy in everything. I know that all good things come from you. We have a choice to make. Let's choose to take refuge in the Lord. Let's choose to taste and see that he is truly good.